Good evening. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Very good, very good. Uh, let me go ahead and open here. I just see a few people. Come on. Solo ocho está. Santo Padre. Vamos a ver acá. Cada vez somos menos. Lo cual no es bueno. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna put here and tell them that we're gonna have classes. Perfect, esperemos que se conecten. Eh, Armando José Garméndez Lemos. Carlos Alberto Morales Recinos. Here. Thank you, Carlos. Let's go with Dal is Cindy Giselle Serrano Dominguez. Dalia Susana Chavez Sanchez. Dalia Susana. Presente. Delmi Guadalupe Escobar Landa Verde. Delmi. Hernández Sánchez Presente Douglas Arturo Hernández Melgar Eliana Elizabeth Chicas Delgado Presente Thank you Elsa Janet Coches Mejía Presente José Alexander Hernández Carvajal José Juan Francisco Hernández Mejía. I am here. Cadelin Estela López. Cadelin Estela Ortiz Abarca. Presente. Karen Lizeth López Cerón. Presente. Tatiel Mayren Aguilar Morales. Kelly Erika Hernández Melara. Kevin Giovanni Cruz Ordóñez. Tara Digaí López Portillo. Present. Sonia Maribel Ramírez Valenzuela. Presente. Ok. Thank you so much. So let me put here. Hoy viernes 13. Eh? Qué chido. José Alexander, ya vino. Aquí estoy, ya vine. <risas> Permítame. ¿Qué más hace falta que acaba de venir? Nadie. Douglas. No, todavía no, verdad. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to start with today's class. We're going to start with asking if you have any questions about the activities that we did yesterday. Alguna pregunta acerca de las actividades que hicimos ayer. Comentarios, preguntas, algo que haya quedado en duda. No. 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 Okay, well, let me go ahead and access here then. Right. Today, we're going to continue working with another, um, what can we say, part of the simple present, right? We're going to work with information questions, right? And how to use the, the simple present with that, okay? Now, information questions are very, very important. They help us to know where we come from, right? So let me go ahead and put this right here. Let me show you my computer right now. <clears throat> Thank you. 
So now we are already in unit three, right? Can you see my computer? No? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Very good. So we're gonna go with unit number three is called, where do you work? That's the name of the unit. Where do you work? We already know that question. We already know what it means, right? But we're going to start with this question. First, we are going to brainstorm, right? The different departments, right? You can work in your workplace, right? For example, in my case, right? I work in the teaching department. That's the name of, uh, of the department I work in, teaching department, right? Now, for example, right? My supervisor, he doesn't work in the teaching department. The name of his department is administration department, right? Administration department, right? Then my other friend, Lucy, right? Lucia, right? She's, she's part of the cleaning department. What other departments do you have in your workplace? These are examples for English Corporativo, right? What are other departments that you have in mind? The financial department. Financial department, great Alexander. Financial department. Very well. What's another department? Um, no sé cómo se dice, pero recursos humanos. Ah, Human Resources Department. Many people would call it just HR. In English, we would call it as HR, does it? HR, right? Like this. Very good, Carlos. What's another department that you have in your company? No sé si sería de sales department. The sales department. Very good. Sales department. Let me put it right here. The legal department. Good job. Legal department. Very good. So these are examples, right? We may have many, many more. Now, we're going to answer these two questions. It says here, where do you belong and what do you do? Where do you belong to, right? So if we're asking a question, hey, Sylvia, where do you belong to? I belong to the teaching department, right? I belong to the teaching department. Right? This will be my answer. I belong to the teaching department. Now, what do you do? I am a teacher. I teach classes to employees from different companies in El Salvador. This is like general information, right? I am a teacher, right? I teach classes to employees from different companies in El Salvador. Now, this is about me, right? This is about me. Now, uh, let's see. Jose, where do you belong to? I belong to administration department. Administration department. Okay, what do you do? I, I am I am the administrative financial technician okay. and I and I 
I approve this parchment for to execute projects. For executive projects, very good. Thank you so much. So, you see, we're going to ask right now, where do you belong to? What do you do? Right. Very two simple questions, right? Now, in this moment, right now, I need you to write your answers, right? Where do you belong to? What do you do, right? And we're going to practice. Let's start. Let's write your answer. Jose, you can invent. You can be someone else right now, okay? Thank you. Now, do you understand what we're doing? Yes? Okay, Carlos says yes. Dilcia, Karen, Dalia, Elsa. Where is yes. Someone? Okay, very good. Eliana, Sara, Kathleen? Is it clear? No? Karen, do you have a question? Yo creo que sí. ¿Verdad que en la primera se responde lo que se hace? Eh, no. The department you belong to. For example, I belong to the teaching department. Jose belongs to the administration department. Okay. You can belong, for example, to the marketing department. Right? Marketing department. What other departments are there? Many. Many. Cooking department. Right? And then in the second question, you tell what to do. What you do. What do you do? I am a teacher. Juan, is it clear? Do you have a question? Let's start. Más ejemplos. In your case, Juan, right? Let's say, well, okay. We have, let's put it here. Let me put it here. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Okay, for example, look at this picture. Can you see the picture? Right? Okay, he is, he is Mario, right? He is Mario. So, hey Mario, right? Where do you belong to? Right? Mario can say, I belong to the architecture department. What do you do, Mario? I am an architect. I make plans to build houses, right? So we're going to make sure that we talk about our professions, right? Look at this. I belong to architecture department. This is the first question that I asked Mario. Right? What do you do? Okay, there we go, right? Look at the example one in the chat about Mario. Now, do you guys have your answers? Ya estamos listos? Todavía no? 
Yes. Okay. Four. Pansenai. Four. Four. Chicos, recuérdense que aunque me manden información de por qué no pueden venir a clase, recuérdense que no doy permisos. Ok, yo no, no tengo esa, esa, ¿cómo se dice? Ese poder. <ríe> no tengo ese superpoder de dar permisos. Ok, así que I'm so sorry si, si, si no pueden venir y no puedo hacer nada. Yo, si no vienen, siempre le tengo que poner que no vinieron. Ok, now let's continue here. Uh, let's start. Dalia, where do you belong to? Uh, belong to the clean depart department. Very good. What do you do? I am um, assistant clean. Creo que sí, sí. Okay. Cleaning assistant. Very good. Uh -huh. Tell us more. No sé. Escríbalo. Para eso estamos ahorita, lo estamos escribiendo. Escriba su respuesta. Ok. Todos escriban su respuesta. Carlos, where do you belong to? I belong to laboratory. The laboratory. To the laboratory. Laboratory. Repeat. Laboratory. Ok. What do you do? I am a chef. I del development new products for pans in AI. Okay, very good. I develop new products Product. for in AI. Good, good. Uh, let's see, Eliana, where do you belong to? I am, I am lab lab laboratory. Okay, look at this. Where do you, this oh, well. is question. Where do you belong to? Your answer, I belong to. Where do you belong to, Eliana? Okay. Listen to the examples. Escuchen los ejemplos. Eh, let's see. Sonia, where do you belong to? I am, I am a supervisor. Listen, where do you belong to? That's the question. I am a supervisor? No. No. Look at the question. This is my question. Where do you belong to? This is the answer. I belong to the supervisor. Sup no, I belong to, to the production department. Very good, excellent. I belong to the production department. What do you do? Mm -hmm. I am a supervisor. I supervision, supervision? Supervise? I, I supervise the production to the to the different process. Very good. There you are. Thank you, Sonia. Eliana, where do you belong to? I am belong to, to I belong to I belong to I am no I belong, belong to. to no aquí no dice I am I belong to, to 
I belong to. They. Mm. ¿A qué departamento pertenece usted? Where do you belong to? San Salvador. No, estamos hablando de departamentos dentro de la empresa. Sonia dijo production. Carlos dijo the laboratory. Control. Ajá. Control. Control. Ok, I belong to the control. I belong to control. Ok, listen to me, please. I belong to the control department. I belong to the control department. Department. Okay. What do you do? I am. What do you do? I am. And I am revision the material. Okay. I revise the material. I revise the material. Repeat. I am material. I am. Dice, what do you do? I am. I am. Revision the material. Okay. Esta, estas respuestas son como las guías de lo que vamos a decir. Por ejemplo, aquí dice, where do you belong to? Es la pregunta, la respuesta. I belong to the, este es mi departamento. So yo digo teaching department, right? En este caso, Sonia dijo, I belong to the production department. Muy bien. What do you do? Right? Seguimos aquí. Aquí decimos, ¿qué hacemos? I am a... En mi caso, a teacher. En el caso de ustedes, no es teacher. I, y aquí decimos, ¿qué hacemos? ¿Ok? No siempre vamos a ocupar el verbo to be en todas las oraciones. ¿Right? Ahora, eh, escriba su respuesta, Eliana, por favor. Ya le voy a preguntar de nuevo. Veamos, Dilcia, where do you belong to? I am... Um... Telemarketing de, Department. Ok. Vean por favor. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Escriben las respuestas. I, sí. I, I belong to the Telemarketing Department. Excellent. Very good. What do you do? Uh, I am. I am Telemarketing. Okay. Uh, I money makes. Phone, uh, phone calls, calls. Okay. Um, for for money, money clients or clients. Okay. Um, information, uh, different promotion, promotion every day. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Dilcia. Very good. So you are a telemarketer. Repeat, telemarketer. I am telemarketing. Marketer. Look at the chat. Marketer. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Let's go right now. Thank you, Dilcia. Thank you so much. Elsa, where do you belong to? I belong to the administrative department. Okay, the administrative Very good. And what do you do? I am an administrative assistant. Assistant. I help assistant. Okay. I help my co-workers. Okay. I write report of the sales. Of the sales. Okay, very good. Thank you, Elsa. Thank you so much. Jose, where do you belong to? Um, I belong to the legal department. Mm -hmm. and what do you do? I am a lawyer. I prepare the contracts for employees and procurement of goods and other services. 
Okay, very good, excellent job. Thank you Thanks. so much. And Katiel, what do you, where do you belong to Katiel? Uh, what do me belong? Sorry. Teacher. Hola. Where, where do you belong to, Katiel? Uh, what do you mean belong? To be part of. For example, I belong to the department. Carlos belongs to the laboratory department. Right? Dilcia belongs to the telemarketing department because she is a telemarketer. Where do you belong to? I belong to the sales sales department. What do you do, Katiel? I sell the cell phones and the computers and in general. Technologies. Yeah, the, Technology. Yeah, okay, very good. Thank you so much. And we're going to continue. Seguimos con el siguiente ejercicio, okay? Now, we have different departments, as you can see. Marketing, customer service, human resources, accounting, logistics, cleaning department, many, right? So many, many, many type of departments. Now, we're going to continue working here and we're going to go to page 29 in our book. Let me access the book here. Give me a moment. Let's go to page 29, right? And on page 29, we have six words, right? Listen to the pronunciation. And uh, let's see, Eliana, repeat with me. One, two, three, and Juan, four, five, and six. Eliana, repeat. Production. Production. Research and development. Revision and development. Research. Research. Search. Research. Search. In. In. Development. Development. Okay. Purchasing. Como es? Purchasing. Purchasing. Marketing. Marketing. Human resources management. Human resources management. Human resources management. Accounting and finance. Accounting and finance. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. So we have there six words. What we're going to do according to our book, right? If we go to the book, we are going to connect the six words that we have here with the possible uh, definition, okay? So what is production? We are going to read the definitions and we are going to match it, okay? That's what we're going to do. For this activity, we have six, and we're gonna have five minutes to go ahead and work with that, right? We're going to connect this. So what is production? Research and identify what customers want. Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. Keep the financial record of transactions, control and supervise, and so on. We have six options to connect, okay? ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Do you understand what you're going to do? 
Yes. Okay, very good. Now, this is a difficult exercise. So we're gonna do it in pairs, only in pairs. I think we are 12, como somos 12, right? Lo vamos, ay, quien se desconecta, no se desconecta. ¿Quién puede ir No se desconecten. Ese, ese es el libro, el libro 3 o el 2. Estamos en la unidad 3, ya, Juan. Yo le envié todo el libro. Yo ya le envié todo el libro. Usted me dijo que ya lo había, ya lo había recibido. Aquí tengo los cuatro. Quiero ver si. Pero no encuentro esas páginas. Página 29. Ah, ya lo hallé, ya lo hallé. Ok. Perfect. So we're going to do that and we're going to have only five minutes to start working on that. Ok. A las 8.37, automáticamente. Five, five minutes. Para acá. We're going to have six minutes to go ahead and do this. Ok. Cuando ya terminan los seis minutos, los va a mandar para acá. So let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Six minutes only. Vamos, Dilcia. Dele click, Dilcia. Vaya, si no lo voy a hacer. Lo que pasa es que es aquí. Voy a hacer el de aquí, Carpe. ¿Puede compartir ahí? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. aquí podemos. Estamos acá. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta que van a hacer, chicos? Um, creo que no. Ok, tengo otro tipo. Gracias. La número uno, producción. De financia. Si quieren repartamos. Quiero ver. Eliana puede buscar quién es el que trabaja en este departamento. Catiel de este otro. Y yo este de compras. What, el de okay. research and development. Ajá. Y yo el de purchasing. A ver. Yo hiciera, yo voy a hacer la primera lengua. Sí. Ok. Yo la tres quiero ver. El design by an art. From March, my four years of the organization. Creo que el mío es este. Tres. Purchasing. Cuatro. Marketing. The right place. Marketing. Um, Accounting and finance. Este es aquí el contador. Six. Marketing, no sé si creo que es la, la, la uno, research. La uno. One and yeah. need at the right place. Sí, esa es. La cinco, human research. Aquí está la de los empleados, sería el human, human resource management. La uno sería donde dice control right. Aquí la uno. Uh -huh. Control and supervise the production cycle. Y nos queda la dos, ¿verdad? Research and development. Vaya, terminamos. Van a tomar captura. 
Sí, ahorita. Ahí estamos. Lo vamos a mandar la, al WhatsApp o oh, no. Que vi que estaba mandando WhatsApp. Pero ella no dijo que lo compráramos en WhatsApp. No, no dijo. Pero si, si quiere alguno de ustedes, lo puede enviar. Las tienen igual que nosotros. Okay, so everyone is back. Right now, we're gonna check on the exercise, right? We have here, let me make it smaller. Okay, so let me see the groups. We have, I think, breakout rooms. Group number one, we have five groups, so we're gonna be fine. Group number one, Eliana Jose Catiel. What is the information that you have for Production. Production. What is the definition? You don't worry if you make mistakes, okay? It's mm -hmm. control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Okay. Number one, uh-huh. Okay. Thank you so much, group number one. Group number two. Cadeline uh, Estela Ortiz Abarca. Who was with you, Cadeline? 
Kadani. ¿Quién estaba con usted? ¿Cómo? ¿Quién estaba Carlos. con usted? Yo, Carlos. Ok, Kadani y Carlos, ok. Number two. Develop, design, new pro or improve, excite, existing products or process. Or processes. Okay. Good. Group number three. Uh, me salí. Uh -huh. Dilcia mm -hmm. and Juan. Purchasing. 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 Purchasing, yes. <laughs> Purchasing. Yes. Ah. Did the financial did keep the financial record of transaction involving monetary inflow and outflow? Okay. Let me put it here. Number four. Ahorita estamos poniendo las respuestas. Después las vamos a checar. Okay. Number four. It's for Karen and Sonia. Marketing. Marketing. Karen. No le doy Sí. Okay. Research and identify one customer one in need at the right place. Okay, at the right place. Very well. That will be mm -hmm. number five. Oh no, number four, right? <laughs> so number four, research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Good. Number five is for group number five. And that would be Dalia and Elsa. Human Resources Management. Uh, recruit. Mm -hmm. Select and train new employees for the right jobs in the company. Employees. Repeat. Employees. employees. Recruit. Select and train new employees for the right job in the company. Very good. And what does it say here? Oh, okay. Group number one, you were three. So you're gonna have number one, number six too. What is number six? Group number one. Uh, number one is accounting and finance. Okay. Uh, uh, accounting and finance. Uh -huh. Finance. Keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. That will be number six for this group. So we have just one left that would be buy and acquire materials. Let's see the answers, okay? Remember your answers. I am going to show you here the correct answers in a different way, of course, right? Look at the answers. Okay, production, control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Perfect. Research and development. Develop, design, new or improve existing products or processes. Very good. Purchasing, buy and acquire raw materials, production equipment for the use of the organization. Marketing, research and identify what customers want and they're at the right place. Human resources, recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job. And accounting is keep the financial records of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. 
Those are the answers. Correct your answers. Esas son las respuestas. Corríjanlas. Corríganla, corríganla. ¿Va bien? Yes. Ok, very good. So, we're going to continue here with the next topic. Ok, vamos a seguir con el siguiente tema. This is uh, how to use, right, how to use simple present information questions. That's what we're going to do, right? How to do simple present info, information questions. These information questions in English, they are also called WH words. Okay. Este es el otro nombre informal que se le da a la, a la, al tema. Okay. WH words or information questions. So what are we gonna do here? We're gonna check right now how to make this type of questions. To start with this, vamos a ir poco a poco. We have this type of questions. We have who, right? Let me put it here. We have who, why, how, where, which, when, and what, okay? These are the type of questions that we are going to use. Estos son como las más comunes. Okay, las más comunes. So, listen to this. No anoten, pongan atención. Okay, presten atención, por favor. I am going to use why to ask for, para preguntar, ask for reasons. Okay, ask for reason that's when i'm going to use why for example right why do you work in super selectors for example right sorry what do you work at super select Ask for reason, why? So we're always gonna have an answer like, I work at Super Selectos because blah, 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 blah. We give the reasons for that. How, we're going to ask for, ask for manner, right? Manner or processes. For example, manner, how are you? Process. How do you make? How do you make pupusas? Right, that's a process. Then we go here where, for where we ask for location. For example, where do you live? Where do you study? I live in San Salvador. I study at Inglés Corporativo, right? Now, do you understand these three questions right now? Entienden este tipo, estas tres preguntas? ¿Y para qué las vamos a utilizar? Antes de continuar con las demás, ¿entendemos ahí? ¿Tienen preguntas? Hola, hola, ¿me escucha? Eh, con la primera, why? I, I understand. I understand, ok, very good. Thank you, Juan. Con la primera, ¿qué me dijo? Eh, con la primera, eh, no entiendo exactamente a qué se refiere. We're asking for a reason. For example, Elsa, why do you study English? Why do you study English? Why, por qué? Exactly. We're asking for a reason. Okay, so I'm uh -huh. por una razón, right? So, very good, let's continue. Then we go with which, 
right? Which we're going, well, to see which, we're gonna see what first, okay? What? For what, we're going to ask for things or situations, okay? For example, what is your name? What's your name? Or a situation. What do you do? Right? Now, here, for which we're going to ask for choices. Choices about things or situations. Right? Choices. But why choices? I don't understand choices. So when we say choices, for example, I can say this, which, right? Which, um, let's see what they have here. Oh, okay. Which stapler here, okay. Which stapler do you prefer? The black one or the gray one? I have choices, I have options, okay? Where I can say here, for example, let's see. Oh, which cell phone do you like? iPhone or Android. So here I have choices, this or this. I can also ask you which drink do you like? Coffee or chocolate? Right? So there we're asking for options, right? For which we ask for options, for choices, right? Do you understand this one? Entendemos este? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. So here, things, situations, here, things and situations, but with two options. What is more general, right? For example, I can ask you, Carlos, what is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? My favorite color is black. Very good. Now listen to this, Carlos. Everyone listen. Which is your favorite color? White or pink? White. Okay, very good. In the first question, with what? The option is all the colors. In the second option with which, I give you only two options, right? I can give you two or three options, but the person who asks is going to, to give you already the, the, the possibilities to answer, okay? So is it clear, guys? With what and which? ¿Se entiende la di pequeña diferencia entre what y which? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Let's go with when. Elsa, no me es que está haciendo la pantalla, Elsa. Salga de la pantalla. Gracias, muy amable. So, let's continue here, right? With when. When we ask for, ask for time or periods of time. Periods of time. For example, when do you take classes? When do you take classes? Jose, when do you take classes? I take classes from Monday to Friday. Very good, that's a good answer. Okay, we can say, when do you, when do you cook for your family, Sonia? When do you cook for your family?
Sonia, no, Sonia ya se fue, miren. Eh, let's see, Karen, when do you cook for your family? Mm, no estamos, no estamos en clase. No estamos en clase. Juan, when do you cook for your family, Juan? I cook Monday. Okay. I cook for my family on Monday. Okay. Very good. Uh, I Thank cook you. On my family on Monday. On Monday. Thank you, Juan. Very good. So, what is the time, the period of time that I'm asking? On Monday. Very good. Right? Esa es la respuesta. Okay. Ahora, nosotros vamos a preguntar aquí y vamos a dar respuestas completas. Pero después vamos a ver cómo podemos eh, eh, dar solamente la respuesta. Yo le puedo preguntar a Juan, ¿When do you cook for your family? Y él me puede decir solamente, on Monday. Right? Esa sería la respuesta, porque eso es lo que yo busco. Esa es la information that I'm looking for. Esa es la información que yo estoy buscando. Right? Now, the last one is here is who we ask for people. We ask for people, right? Or for a person, right? A person or people. Who are you? ¿Quién somos? Who are you? Right? Who do you live with? Who do you live with? I live with my husband and my dogs, right? I live with my mother. I live with my sister, right? I live with my grandmother. So we ask for people, right? Now, do you understand these questions right now? Yes. Okay. Ahora sí, copiemos, tomemos de captura, lo que ustedes quieran. ¿Ya estamos listos para continuar? ¿Tiene alguien alguna pregunta? Hola, Tiche. Este, yo con el Gwen, como que no me quedó algo claro. Eh, tenía interferencia con el Inter, entonces no logré comprender muy bien eso. When we use when, Karen, it's okay. When we use when, right, we're asking for time. Right? For time. For example, I can ask you, when, um, when do you take vacations, Karen, in your job? When do you take vacations? For example, I take vacations on December, only on December. And you, when do you take vacation? When do you take I am ne uh -huh. I never. I never. You never take vacation. <laughs> Why? Por qué? Why? <laughs> and you will work. Will work. Nice. You have money. <laughs> you have money. That's good. So, I can ask you to uh, Karen Karen when do you go to work? When do you start work? Eh, Me podría ayudar con a qué en qué es when? Okay. Estamos tratando de no de no traducir la palabra. Porque ah, okay. cuando estamos haciendo las oraciones, las preguntas, esas palabritas que vemos ahí pueden como transformarse. ¿Ok? Entonces, when eh, es para preguntar sobre tiempo. ¿Ok? Entonces, yo estoy preguntando por el tiempo en el que usted realiza algo. Entonces, when do you take vacation? When do you eat lunch, for example? When do you eat lunch? When do you eat lunch? Eh, sería... 
Yeah, I do lunch 12. Okay, I eat lunch at 12. At lunch 12. I eat lunch at 12. Very good, Karen. 12. So here we're asking for things right uh, or, or the time that we perform or someone else uh, someone else is perform an activity right no sé si queda más claro Karen sí ya le entendí un poquito más okay Thank vamos you. okay vamos a seguir practicando estas preguntas no se preocupen teacher sí eh, podría explicar el de why y how please okay in why Sara, we're asking for a reason, for the purpose of doing something. For example, if I ask you, why do you study in the university? Or the common question, why do you study English? Right, so I can say, for example, here, right? look at the chat. Look at the, the why do you study English? Oh, I study English because I because, want more because uh, like English. Because I like English. Very good. I like English. So this, Sarah. These are reasons, these are reasons, right? They are telling me the reason why you're performing something. I can ask you, hey, Carlos, why do you work at Pansinaí? I work at Pansinaí for... Because? Because, um, good job. Because it is a good job, very good. Después de because, siempre vamos a tener una, una oración completa. Because it is a good job. Very good. So, Sara, why do you study in the university? Um, I study in the university uh, because uh, I like uh, administrative. Okay, administration, very good. Administration. I like administration, very good. Thank you so much. Sonia, why are you a Christian teacher? Thank you, Juan. What? Why are you an engineer? Question. Because I like, because I like the, because I like the process. Okay, because I like the process. Very good. What is your question, Juan? What is your question, Juan? Juan, what is your question? Bueno, para, para, solo para aclarar. Uh-huh. Why, solo es para pregunta, ¿verdad? Y, y because es para responder, ¿verdad? Exactamente. Exactamente. Why solo es pregunta, ¿verdad? Sí. Y because es con la que se responde. Sí. Eh, significan lo mismo, pero solo... Me acuerdo que significan lo mismo, ¿verdad? Pero para pregunta y la otra es para, para responder. Sí. That is correct. Exactly. Muy bien. Are you Thank asked? You. You're welcome, Sara. Yes, yes, thank you. You oh, me pregunto how, how? How, how, yes. Okay. How is to ask for manners. Manners, for example, to ask for a for a situation, how are you? How do you do? Right? How are you doing? And for processes, a process of making one thing. For example, how do you make pupusas? Oh, first you do this, second you do that, 
after you put the 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 pork in the in the dough, and then you tell how to make a pupusa, right? You're giving a process of something. I can ask you, hey, how do I ask for vacation in your company, right? Le estaba preguntando a, a, a alguien cómo realizar un proceso, right? ¿Eso es para procesos o para manners? Ok, Sara. Very good. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Ya vamos a ver más ejemplos. Ya tenemos okay. muchos más. Ok. No crean que solo eso vamos a hacer. Ok. <risa> ¿Ya copiaron esto? ¿Puedo borrarlo? ¿Puedo borrarlo? Yes. 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 Voy a pasar la asistencia rapidito en lo que estamos acá. Ya les voy a enseñar otros ejemplos también. Armando José Garméndez Lemos. Briseida Lisbeth Martínez Romero. Carlos Alberto Morales Recinos. Here, Dalia Susana Chávez Sánchez. Presidente. Lupe Gómez Escobar. Presidente Milet Hernández Sánchez. Presente. Douglas Arturo Hernández Melgar. Eliana Elizabeth Chicas Delgado. Presente. Elsa Yanef Coches Mejía. Present. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. Juan Francisco Hernández Mejía. Present. Estela Ortiz Abarca. Presente. Karen Lizeth López Cerón. Present. Catiel Mayren Aguilar Morales. Present. Kelly Erika Hernández Melara. Kelvin Giovanni Cruz Ordóñez. Sara Digaí López Portillo. Present. Sonia Maribel Ramírez Valenzuela. Present. Okay, thank you so much. So we're going to do this. Okay, let me share with you the following page. Here we have more examples, okay? Aquí tenemos más ejemplos de, de manner. Right. So as we know, we with the WH words or WH questions, we use them to get more information. Right. For example, with a yes no question, I can ask you, Sonia, do you work? Do you work? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Se terminó, ya no le pregunto si quiere. So let's see. But if I want to, oh, yes, uh, where do you work? I work at, I work at, at work, I work at Pantinae. Okay. I work, I work in the process of the plant. Okay, very good. Yes, I supervise I supervise to different process and lines of production. Excellent, thank you so much. Eso deben hacer ustedes. Cuando alguien les pregunta, right, dar más información, no esperar que les pregunten. Eh, por ejemplo, mi siguiente pregunta, ella la asumió. What do you do? Ah, hago esto, esto, esto. Right? Very Teacher. Good. Very good. Yes, Carlos. Pero y cuando nos dijo como al inicio de las clases que hay preguntas que son así en seco y ya no como dar más información. Esas son las yes, no questions. O okay. cuando le están preguntando algo directo. Pero, por ejemplo, usted va a una entrevista. Right? So, in an interview, they will ask you, what do you do? Right? What are your responsibilities? Right? Then you have to speak. Right? Okay. Pero siempre en el mismo tema. Ok? No como no los salvadoreños, que empezamos hablando de una cosa y terminamos hablando, hablando de la abuelita, de la tía. No. Siempre en el mismo tema. A eso me refiero. Siempre en el mismo tema. Very good. So here, 
we just have a, a like a summary right of this we have uh here what right we have what who when right we have where why which but we have here how where form how many look at this how many this is to use or as for quantity. And the structure is a little bit different. For example, I can ask you, eh, Elsa, how many children do you have? How many children do you have, Elsa? I don't have children. Very good. Right, that's a perfect answer. Yo no sé cuántos hijos tiene y ella me respondió. I don't have children. ¿Qué pregunta le podría hacer yo después? Ah, oh, why? Do you have uh, a niece? Do you have a nephew? Right? Diferentes preguntas que pueden seguir. Right? I can ask uh, Juan, how many cell phones do you have? I am one cell phone. I have one cell phone. Very good. I have one cell phone. Excellent. One. Eh, Dalia. Hmm. How many televisions are in your house? Um. How many televisions are in your house? Um, television in the house in mm -hmm. two. two televisions in a pizza. Excellent. Thank you so much, Dalia. Uh, let's see, Jose. How many co workers do you have? I have one co worker. One co worker. <gasps> That's cool. I have like, like 50 co-workers. No, yes, like 50 co-workers. Sara, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Uh, I have uh, one sister and one brother. Mm -hmm. I have one sister and one brother. And one brother. Very good. Kathleen, how many times do you eat in the day? ¿Cómo, perdón? How many times do you eat in the day? Mm. How many times do you eat? Like, yum, yum, yum. How many times do you eat in the day? Ay, no sé cómo responde. I eat. I eat at seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. Okay, perfect. But how many times do you eat? For example, I eat five times in the day. And you, how many times do you eat? Y los snacks, por favor. ¿Qué le pasa? Okay. It's a sombra. Okay. How many times do you eat? The, okay. Breakfast, a snack, lunch, breakfast, dinner. Three okay. times. You eat three times, Sarah. Okay. Yeah. Good. And you, Catherine, how many times do you eat? Hola. How many times do you eat, Catherine? Three times. Three times. Very good. Three times, excellent. So here we have this type of questions with how many, we ask about quantity, okay? Quantity, here we have asked for way of forms, which is processes, right? How often we use about frequency, right? With frequency, we're asking, uh, it's very similar to, to how many, but for the activities that we perform, for example, 
How often do you drink coffee? I eat coffee three times in the day. I drink coffee every day. How often do you go to the gym? How often do you go to the gym? I never go to the gym. And you, do you go to the gym? How often do you go to the gym, Jose? I never go to the gym. Me neither, yo tampoco, me neither. Okay, Sara, how often do you go to the supermarket? I want a, a weekend. Okay. Every weekend. Repeat. Every, Every weekend. Weekend. Excellent. Very good. Now, here we're asking for the frequency. Estamos preguntando la frecuencia en la que realizamos actividades. Okay. Eso es lo que estamos lo que estamos tratando de, 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 de preguntar, right? So, let me go ahead and share something here. Okay. ¿Entendemos estas dos que hemos agregado acá? ¿Sí? Yes. Okay, muy bien. Let's continue here, right? We're gonna make like a small practice here. Let me go back. Ya vamos a ver esos ejemplos, pero. Can you see what it says who? Okay. Aquí vamos a ver ejemplos. Eh, yo le voy a mandar esta, me acuerdan, solamente me acuerdan de enviarles la, la, los ejemplos para que no les estén copiando. Esto no va a tomar unas cinco horas estar copiando. Right? Let's just take a look at them. Right? Who? Eh, can you please read Elsa y Annette Coches? Who? Vamos a ver más ejemplos de lo que acabamos de hablar. Elsa, puede leer, por favor. Who? Who is used uh -huh. to ask about people. Okay. Who is used to ask about people. Very good, Elsa. So, look at this example. Who is he? He is my teacher. Right? En estos momentos vamos a ver ejemplos con el verbo to be en simple present con simple present, pero vamos a ver en otros tiempos verbales, ¿ok? Estamos tratando de familiarizarnos con el uso de cada una de esas palabras. Who, what, where, así que pongamos atención a los ejemplos. Right? Who is he? He is my teacher. Right? Look at the example questions here. Right? Eh, Carlos, can you please read three questions? Lea tres. Who are you? Who is calling? Who is faster? Who is faster? Okay, who is faster? Excellent, we have many more examples, right? Let's continue here, Sara. Can you read this definition? What? Microphone. Open up your mic. Sara. Sí, lo estoy pensando. <laughs> Solo lea. Okay. What is used to ask about things? Used to. Used, used to. Mm -hmm. What is used to ask about things? Things. Very good. Thank you. Dilcia. Okay, look at this. He says, what is that? It's a pencil. Right? What's that? It's a pencil. 
Dilcia, read three, three questions. What is is what is it? Uh, what is the water like? What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? Pizza? France? China? What, what do you want to eat? Pollo campero? Right? When? China. What? China. Oof. Yes, rollitos. Eh, <laughs> Eliana, read this. When... No sé si se pronuncia bueno. When it would to ask about time. About time. Okay. About when time. It's used to ask about time. Yes. Now, look at this. When does class start? It starts at three o'clock, right? You're giving me time. Uh, Sonia, can you read three examples? Okay. When do you do your homework? When were you born? And when are you free? When are you free? On Sunday, Sonia. Want coffee? Okay. <laughs> Very good. Then we have where. Please read the definition of where. Uh, there. Dalia? Where you to at about place? About places, about location. Okay, look at the example. Where are my books? They are on my desk, right? They are on the desk. Very good. Read three examples here, please, Jose. Where are my glasses? Where are you from? And where did you want to go? Nowhere. I want to stay in my house. Okay. We have why. Why, Karen? Please read why. Why is using to ask about reason? Reason. Yes. Okay. Now. Please look at this. Why are you so happy? Because I love English class, right? I hope so. I hope so. Kathleen, can you please read the examples here? Read three examples. Where is Kathleen? She left. Okay. Juan, read three examples. Why do you think what why do you think he did that? Why are you like? Why are you crying? Crying. 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 Why are you laughing? <laughs> laughing. Laughing. Crying, laughing, late. Laughing. Oh, late. Uh -huh. Crying, laughing, late. Crying, la laughing, late. Exactly. La G ni se pronuncia, la U se perdió. Laughing. 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 <laughs> No me estoy riendo de usted, es, eso significa sonreír. Sí, sí, sí. sí. <laughs> okay. Very good. So, do we understand the examples we have here? This other one, which, uh, let's read this, Catiel, please. Definition. Which is used to ask about choice. To ask about choice. Elsa. Read three examples. Uh, which own is it? Mm -hmm. Which why is it to the library? Which restaurant should we go, we go to? Okay, very good. 
Which one? One. Repeat. One. One. Okay, one. one. Library. Library. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. And then we have uh, how. Sonia, can you read how? How is just how is just to ask about the may the way something is done, the condition of some something or the degree of something. Thank you very much. Something. Something, yes. <laughs> how was your vacation? It was great. It was great. Uh, Sara, can you please read the examples? How are, are you? How, how are you? How tall is he? Very good. And many more, right? And then we have a quiz. Vamos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio. Okay. ¿Está listo? Are you ready? Let's start with Juan. Juan. No mentira, todos. Let's do it. Right? Let's take a look at number one. What is the best option? Read the answer. It says, it's under the chair. Where is my pencil? Where, where is my pencil? Okay. Where is my pencil? Let's check. Oops. Can I pass it? Where is my pencil? Very good. Next one. She is my sister. What's the answer? Who? 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 Okay. Who? Who is she? She is my sister. I want some pizza. What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? Okay. That's right. Very good. What do you want to eat? I want some pizza. It starts in five minutes. When? When, when does the movie start? When does the movie start? Excellent. There you are. Because the story is so sad. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? That's perfect, at the end. Why are you crying? It was mm, delicious. It was delicious. Which? Which, which was the food? No. How was the food? Aha. Uh -huh. Como estaba la comida vos? Right? How's the food? Right? It was delicious. How was the movie? How was the movie? It was a very good movie. The movie is very good. Right? Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Let's continue here. Chocolate, please. Chocolate, please. Which? Which? One. Which one do you want? Chocolate, Chocolate. or vanilla ice cream? Vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Options. Go straight and turn left. Go straight and turn left. Where? Where? Where is the bank? Where is the bank? Exactly. Where is the bank? It's February 15th. What, what is your birthday? What is no, when is your birthday? When? When is your birthday? When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Because I missed the bus. Why? Why are you late? Why are you late? Late, exactly. Why are you late? Late. Very good. Excellent, guys. Right? Vamos a entender un poco el uso de las WH words. Yes. yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to show you right now one thing that you are going to do. Okay. Now 
WH words or w, no, WH questions in simple present. This is going to be our topic right now. WH questions in simple present. Now, what are we gonna do with these questions, right? First, we're gonna have the WH question, right? Plus the auxiliary do or does, depending on the subject, plus the subject, right? Plus the verb, plus the complement, and the question mark. This is the way I am going to make my question in simple present, okay? So I can put here, for example, I look at my example here, where, where do they work? Where do they work? Right? Then here, I don't need the complement, it's not necessary because I'm asking for a location, right? Where do they work? I can also put any other question. Why does uh, Sophia, why does Sophia leave early every day? Why does Sophia eat, leave early every day? And he, oh, she leaves early every day because she starts work at 7 a.m. Right? Entendemos el, el, la estructura de las WH words? WH word plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement, right? Now, this is, there are some exceptions, okay? Hay algunas excepciones. En estas excepciones entran las siguientes WH words. Veamos acá. Miren acá, voy a copiar la misma estructura. Right? I got it here. Same structure. Different color. Right? I have the WH question. Right? Then I am going to have a noun plus do or does plus subject, plus verb, plus complement, right? Para esta, esta regla, esta exception, I, I have the following words. Aquí voy a utilizar las siguientes, right? I'm gonna use here, right? For example, which, right? WH for which, which, Food does, does Miriam prefer? Which food does Miriam prefer? And we have there our example. What is the noun here? This is the noun, right? This is the noun. So everything else is going to be the same, but after the that WH word, I'm going to have a noun. Debemos tener un sustantivo, right? What is a noun? Everything that we can see. Cell phone, computer, book, stapler, mouse, jogger, coffee, everything. Every students, teacher, choose, right? Everything is a noun. Astronaut. Right, el astronauta que tiene ahí Juan, ese es un noun. Todo lo que podemos nombrar, right, es un sustantivo. Right? Y eso es lo que vamos a poner ahí. ¿Cuál voy a utilizar? El que usted necesita para hacer su pregunta. Sí, right. Then we're going to put here another example. 
right? We can put here, for example, uh, how many, how many students do you have in class? How many students do you have in class? Oh, I have, let me see, like 10 students. No, I have 12 students, right? How many? We also have here, how often? Sorry? Vamos a poner otra pregunta. Esta es para preguntar sobre dinero. How much? Money do you pay for internet? For the internet bill, right? How much money do you pay for internet bill, Jose? I pay Oof, I paid 30. I paid 40. How, how much? 40. 40, okay. $40. I paid $39. Right? How much? How much is I'm preguntando precios? How much is this yogurt? It's 62 cents. Right? No es publicidad. Right? 62 cents. We also have another question. And vamos a dejarlo acá. Ok, hay otros ejemplos. Aquí vamos a poner arriba where. Vamos a poner why, who, eh, when. Right. Eh, we can put also what. Right. How. Right. We can put it right there too. Right? And many more examples. Okay. ¿Entendemos lo que estamos haciendo hasta ahorita? ¿Entendemos la estructura de las WH words in simple present? Yes? Yes. Okay. Very well. Very well. Now, I'm going to give you right now. Yo le voy a dar en estos momentos. Ay, solo quedan 20 minutos. Que me caen well, vamos a ver qué hacemos. Eh, give me a moment. I'm going to put here a book. I'm going to pull up a book right now. Okay, there we are. I'm gonna give you right now some verbs that we're going to use for the next activity. Yo le voy a dar unos verbos, okay? Para que trabajemos en el siguiente ejercicio. Vamos a ir en parejas. Vamos a ir en parejas y vamos a hacer tres preguntas, okay? Sí, tres preguntas, okay? Tres preguntas utilizando los verbos que yo le voy a dar, okay? So we're gonna have here, 
the groups, right? Recreate. So, okay. Right. We're going to go ahead and work here. Group number one, Jose Alexander and Sara. Okay. Group number two, Katherine and Sonia. Group number three, Eliana Elsa. Group number four, Carlos and Dilcia. Group number five, Dalia and Karen. Group number six, Juan and Catiel. Okay, those are your groups. Esos son sus grupos. Ahora, yo les voy a dar los verbos que van a utilizar. Right? The verbs that you are going to use. So let me put it here. José. José and Sara, you will use the verbs eat, drink, read. Eat. Drink. Read. I'm going to put it here. Oh my goodness. Eat, drink, read. Group number two. You're going to make questions with write, watch, call. Write, watch, call. Group three. That will be. Eliana and Elsa, you're gonna do take, give, and buy. Take, give, buy. Group number four, it's Carlos and Dilcia. You're gonna do sell, open, and go. Group number five, Dalia and Karen. You're going to do cook, come, and play. Group number five, cook, come, play. And group number six, you're going to do Work, repair, and tell. Those are your verbs. Esos son sus verbos. Van a hacer tres preguntas. ¿Cuál WH question van a utilizar? Las que ustedes quieran. Right, ¿Ya le tomaron captura a esto? Yes. Yes, okay. Very good. Mire, yo ocupo why, yo ocupo where. Ustedes van a decidir. Right, let's go. Let's go. Vamos a hacer 10 minutos a las 55. Regresamos. Solo son tres preguntitas. Uy, se fue seis, en seis minutos. Se fue, así que así nos vamos a ir. <risa> seis minutos, vámonos. Bueno, voy a hacer las, las tres preguntas, ¿verdad? Captura. Espérame, que quiero ver la captura. Yo lo tengo, pero espérame. ¿Lo copió? La, la de los verbos. Uh -huh. ¿O cuál es la pregunta? Que yo quiero ver. Que yo me mande eso. Yo se lo mando ahorita aquí. Ok, gracias, Chicha. La captura de la estructura quiere, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 sí porfa. Espérate, me llamo. Mire si la puede ver, Sole. Ahorita veo. Quiero ver. 
no. ¿En, no. En, el, en, en el grupo la mandó. No, aquí en el chat de, de, de Zoom. Ah, en el chat de Zoom. Quiero ver. White Wash Co. O lo manda como. Ah, ahí está. De la pizarra. Uh -huh. Sí, lo voy a guardar y lo voy a descargar. Vale. Sí, se ve. Perfecto, voy con otro equipo y ya regreso. Ok. Descargas. Ahí está, Cadel. Sí. Vale. Quiero ver. ¿Qué es esto? No, está muy bien. Belén, ¿qué estás haciendo? Deja de hacer desorden. Le voy a enseñar qué estás haciendo en el sol. La vele, qué relajo. Ni de toda la ropa como me la estoy tirando. Menos mal que mañana no vamos a ir. Cabal. Qué barbaridad, qué pena. ¿Y qué está haciendo jugando? Yo estoy tirándome toda la ropa. Mire, Mire cómo si yo usted. Ay, ahí con dolor, pero ahí vamos. Ay. Ay, Tiene la imagen ahí. Sí. Hagámoslo como, espérame. Como cuál lo hacemos. Voy a compartir la pantalla. Como el where. Where do they work? Espérame. Para que vea la pantalla. Okay. Ah, bye. Sure. Ok, vaya. Como nuestros verbos son write, va, escribir. Ajá. Entonces, podremos poner full students money. Why? ¿Por qué escribes? Why? Where Why do, do, do? Where, where do they work? Donde ellos trabajan. When. ¿Por qué escribes? ¿Cómo le podemos poner? Guay. Guay es por ver. Sí. Who? ¿Quién? Quiero ver. Why is for right. for... ¿Quién escribió la carta? ¿Cómo lo ponen? Who? Why? ¿Quién? Right. Del otro. Who do? Who do Who write do... the letter? No. ¿Ah? ¿Dónde ellos trabajan? ¿Quién escribió la carta? Puede ser. Ajá. Ah, la uno. Podría ser. Who. 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 Right. 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 Do. Es que eso no se acuerda. Espérame, ¿quién escribió? ¿Tú, Cadelin? Write the letter. Uy, yo no pasé acá. What? Ya, oye, es tiempo. What? ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es tiempo? No, why hagamos. Why? 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 Why does Cadelin? Ya me sacó. Why does Cadelin write? write? Write the letter. El otro what? Write the letter. Watch TV. Ah, no, pero igual. No, eso es, puede ser how. How, how many, crazy, no sé, es que no, how, 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 how do, how do they, how do they, puede ser, how do they, no. Sorry, se salieron antes. 
Let's share your questions, okay? You're going to share your questions. Put them in the chat. Pongámoslos en el chat para ver cómo los han escrito. Solo escuché un par de equipos por ahí. Sí. Eh, eh, bueno, en mi caso, a mí este, los verbos que me dio repair and tell, sí, no sé, no sé cómo conjugarlos, la verdad. No sabes cómo conjugarlos. Ajá. Estamos en simple present. Ajá, sí, pero por ejemplo, no, no sé si es correcto decir, por ejemplo, how many repairs. No, porque repairs no es un noun. Repairs es un, eh, eh, es un verbo. Entonces, de acuerdo a la estructura, repairs no debería ir ahí. Pues... Uh, uh, Después de how many, ¿qué es lo que va? Va un sustantivo, va un noun, no un verbo. Y repair es el verbo. Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a conjugar aquí repair? La única forma que lo tenemos que conjugar es si usted lo iba a utilizar con third person singular. With he, she, or it. Ahí sí tenía que decir repairs. Y aún, como era pregunta, va a estar utilizando el das. No tenía que hacerle nada más al verbo. Solamente crear su pregunta utilizando la palabra repair or tell. Por ejemplo... Eh, where do you repair your car? I repair my car at uh, at the mechanic every month. Right? Every month. I can say, how many times do you repair your laptop? I repair my laptop twice a year. Two times a year twice a year. Así es como lo vamos a ir utilizando como verbo. Entonces, si todos los que les di son verbos, todos van en la misma posición de la estructura que les mandé. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. okay thank you, Catiel. Okay. Los demás, aquí damos los ejemplos. Veamos qué tenemos aquí. Tenemos how many cars Anna sell today. ¿Dónde está el auxiliar? How many cars Anna sell today? When open the store? Le hicieron falta los auxiliares, Carlos. ¿Cuáles son los auxiliares que estamos utilizando? Le hizo falta el sujeto también. Solo dice, when open the store? When do you open the store? When does Calleja open the store? When does Juan open the store? When does Yamilet, eh, o when do Yamilet and Elsa open the store? Ahí nos hizo falta auxiliar y sujeto. No nos puede faltar eso. Veamos, sigamos viendo. Ejemplos, ejemplos. Uh, where do you eat pizza? Very good. I eat pizza. Mira, aquí tenemos respuestas también. I eat pizza at Pizza Hut. Which drink does Carla prefer? Beer or soda? She prefers beer, of course. How many books do you read in a month? I read three books. Oh my God, that's a lot. When go to the gym? ¿Qué le hace falta ahí, Carlos? When go to the gym? When do you go to the gym? There you are. Very good. How does Catherine write the letter? Very good, Sonia. How many cars Anna sell today? ¿Qué le hace falta a su pregunta? Dilcia, eh, yes, how? How? When do you cook? What does she, what does, what does she they come? Mm. When does she come? Karen, when does she come? Estamos pidiendo un periodo de tiempo, un día. Entonces utilicemos when. 
When does she come? Why do, why do he play soccer? No. Why does he play soccer? Why does he play soccer? Why does? How many do you tell people? How many people do you tell uh, a joke every day, for example? Recuérdense, después de how many que iba, Juan, según la estructura que teníamos, yo creo que ya la perdimos acá. Sí, ya se fue. ¿Cuál era? How many más el sustantivo, más el auxiliar, más el... Esas estructuras no se las doy por chistes, esas estructuras se las doy para que las sigan. Sí, es how many people. How many people, right? Do you tell? Do you tell a joke, por ejemplo. Pero tiene que decir, do you tell, el que uh, le dice, ¿qué le dice? Ajá. ¿Qué le dice? Les puede decir una, una broma, a joke. Right? Tell the news, las noticias. Tell uh, el horóscopo, ¿no? Cualquier cosa que les quiera decir. Right? Pero les tiene que decir algo. Right? Y veamos aquí. How many persons? How many persons? How many persons do you watch the game with? With. Al final les hace falta with. ¿Con, con cuántas personas ves el partido? Okay. How many persons do you watch the game with? I watch the game with one person. Nos faltó el auxiliar a Carlos y a mí. Y el sujeto también se puede. Ok. Very good. Vamos entendiendo. Yo sé que todavía esa es la primera práctica. Obviamente vamos a tener un montón de errores. Right. <coughs> Tomorrow, I will show you more, more examples. Right. Vamos a hacer más ejemplos y ustedes van a hacer sus propios ejemplos un poquito más complejos. Ahí veamos la última. Ok, ya no hay. ¿Alguien más? ¿Ya, ya no hay ninguna otra pregunta antes de pasar a la asistencia? ¿Algún otro ejemplo que haya quedado por ahí desperdigado, como dice mi abuelita? ¿No? Ok, veamos. Seguimos aquí. Pasamos a asistencia. Please pay attention. Carlos Alberto Morales Recinos. Here, Dalia Susana Chávez Sánchez. Presente. Telmi Guadalupe Escobar Landa Verda. Dilce Emilete Hernández Sánchez. Presente. Douglas Arturo Hernández Melgar. Eliana Elizabeth Chicas Delgado. Presente. Yeah. Elsa Yanet Cochas Mejía. Present. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. Juan Francisco Hernández Mejía. Here. Catherine Estela Ortiz Abarca. Presente. Karen Lisette López Cerón. Present. Cafiel Mayren Aguilar Morales. Present. Eh, Kelly Erika Hernández Melara. Sara Villay López Portillo. Present. Sonia Maribel Ramírez Valenzuela. Present. Ok, very good. So today is day number 12. Ese día le corresponde quedarse a Juan Francisco Hernández Mejía. Right. Juan nos confirma si se va a quedar o si le va a ceder el puesto a alguien más. Nos avisa, por favor. Right. Se lo cedo a alguien más, quizás. Ok. Además, nos podemos entonces nos podemos retirar. El que se quiere quedar, que se, que se quede. No hay ningún problema. See you guys later. Nos vemos, chicos. Have a beautiful night. See you, to See you Monday. Nos vemos el lunes. Hagan las actividades, por favor. No se tracen. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye, bye.